All right, a little black submarine. Uh, black keys, the solo part. Uh, I'll show you the way I play it. Comes in and it starts off and it kind of goes. Okay, so just imagine like A minor pentatonic, right? Uh, and so we'll just take some stuff out of there. So we're just gonna put my index finger on the fifth fret of the B string, that E note, and bend up on the G string on the seventh fret. And kind of vibe it a little bit. Anytime you're in A minor, those are good little thing tricks you can do sometimes, like um, Those are always some cool uh, sounds to get out of it. But for that, it's it's I think it's three times. And then the fourth time, come up and put your index finger on the uh, eighth fret of the B and the tenth fret of the G. And then back to the that again. Okay, and then I think he uh, just stops. And then you bend up to the A, A note, right? So bend on that B string up to the 10th fret of, to that A note. And then I would just put on that particular part right there, that's kind of a little room to kind of put your own thing in. Instead of trying to make it exactly, it's just, it's kind of like an improvised thing. You know, I've, I've seen him play it live a few times, it's never the same, so. Um, and just bend up to that A, throw in some notes, Kind of listen to it to hear the where it is and then just land back on that A again, right? Something like that. And then you'll be to this the part that's kind of back to the melody, but he'll go. Okay, so you bent up, you did your little licks, and then you landed on your A note, right, which is there on the D string on the seventh fret. And then I kind of run up to A. Five, six, seven on the D string to the A note. Hit it a couple times to the seventh fret of the G. Hit that a couple times and then slide into the A on the G string, uh, B string. Right, you'll hear that part in there. And then this is another improvised thing you can do. You can kind of just bend up. You can go that way or. Whichever you want, so just kind of bend up that uh, seventh fret on the G string, and then fifth fret on the bottom E. You can go, you know, down, or bend it and come up. Whatever, and then just kind of spaz out on it. And you can throw that bend in there again, like with all of them. I like to do that too. Um, before it just kind of comes back and resolves to that A again, right? Yeah, something similar to that. Um, you can kind of listen to it. I mean, it's just like a little freak out part right there to do something. And then it just goes back and does the... Okay, so I'm going to play it through, maybe I'll even loop it a couple times and you can kind of see what I'm talking about here in those parts. And this comes up to the solo here.
anyways, that kind of gives you an idea. I mean, obviously, you know, it's not no for no perfect or anything like that, but it's the general vibe, I think, of what that part of the song you're trying to get across. And, you know, you can watch him live, and he varies it every time live, too. It's kind of cool seeing um, the different things that are, you know, in his hands that night. Uh, but anyways, fun one to, to learn from and also a good one to use, uh, you know, when you're doing stuff on your own or in other tunes. Uh, some of those bends come in handy to give you some cool sound, so enjoy that one. <laughs> 